O Heavenly King, comfort our spirit of truth throughout that we are present in truth all things, treasure your blessings and your life, come and abide in us, cleanse us from all impurities, and save our souls, O good ones. Glory to God in the highest and earth and peace and good will among men. Glory to God in the highest on earth and peace and goodwill among men. Let's open our lips and mouth to declare thy praise. Blagoslavi Vladiko Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. With the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the good estate of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. this holy house and for those who are with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. 
our Lord and Father, His Holiness, Patriarch Kiriuk, our Lord, the very most reverend Metropolitan Ilarion, First Hierarch of the Russian Church Abroad, for our Lord, the most reverend Archbishop Kiriuk, for the venerable priest of the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For this land, its governing authorities, and armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. For the God who is of Russian land and its Orthodox people, both in the homeland and the diaspora, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. That he may deliver his people from enemies, both visible and invisible, and confirm in us oneness of mind, brotherly love, and piety. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for the city, for our islands, and for every city and country and the faithful that dwell in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for, for seasonable weather, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Travelers by sea, land, and air for the sick, the suffering, the imprisoned, for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Calling to remembrance of most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another, and all our life unto Christ our God. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of Paki mirum gospodu pomolim sia. Zastupi i spasi pomiloj se ukrani nas Bože Tvoje i oblagodati u. Presjati i uprečisti i upreblagoslaveno i uslavni vladičete naše bagarodicu i prisna Djevo Mariju sa vsemi svjatimi pomjenuvši. Sami sebe drug druge veš i bod naš, Hristu Bogu predadi. Ja 
держава и твоей царству и силы и слава отца и сына и святого духа ныне и письмо и во веки веков Kamaluhia e puli hona e kaku e kahaku. E koko a ho ola ho olo a ho maloe a maku e ki a ku a maku aloha. E ho o mana o anai ko kaku vahine ho mau lele loa mai mai po mai kai a me ko ho mana i a ka maku e hini. O ke akua au kava hini pu upa ama o malia Me na kana apao e ho apono kakoi a kakoi ho A ke kai ke kai a me ko kako mao o la holo kua i a kristo Ko kako akua O putara tau and a lover of mankind and unto thee Send us glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of
wisdom
sent you the Holy Spirit, now and ever. O Lord, save the pious and hearken unto us. Let us attend, peace be unto all, and to thy spirit, wisdom, the Prikimenon in the third tone, sing praises to our God, sing praises, sing praises to our King, sing praises. Shout unto God with a voice of rejoicing. Wisdom, the 
reading is from the first epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Colossians. Let us attend. Brethren, giving thanks unto the Father, which hath made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light, who hath delivered us from the power of darkness, and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear Son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins, who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are on the earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created by him and for him, and he is before all things, and by him all things consist. And he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have the preeminence. Братья, благодарящий Бога и Отца, призвавшего вас причастие наследия святых во свете, и же избави нас от власти темная, и приставив царство Сына любви Своея, о нем же и мама избавления кровью Его и оставление грехов. И же есть образ Бога невидимого, перворожден сия твари, яко о нем создана бывшая всяческая, я же на небеси и я же на земле, видимая и невидимая, аще престоли, аще господствия, аще начала, аще власти всяческая, тем и нем создавшаяся, и то есть прежде всех, и всяческая в нем состояться, и то есть глава телу церкви, и же есть начаток кроворожден из мертвых, я когда будет во всех, той первенствуя. И Духу и Твоему, Аллилуйя, глаз третий. На тебя, Господи, уповах, да не постыжуйся вовек. Будем и в Бога защитителя, и в дом прибежища, и же спасти мя. Bless Master, him that proclaim the good tidings of the Holy Apostle and Evangelist Luke. Amen. from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to thee, Lord, At that time, Jesus entered into a certain village. There met him ten men that were lepers, which stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourselves unto the priests. 
And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answered and said, Were there not ten cleansed, but where are the nine? There are not found that return to give glory to God, save this stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way, thy faith hath made thee whole. O vrema onog, hod yashu Yesus o viv neku yuvis, tretosha yago desyat, Прокажены мужи и жесташа, издалеча, и ти вознесуша глаз, глаголюше Иисусе, наставниче помилуйны, и виды врече им, Покажите себя священником и быть идущими, очистившися. Един же от них видев, яко и целе возвратися с огласом велим славя Бога и поденец при ногу Его. Хвалю Ему, воздая и Твой бед, самая нинь. Отвешав же Иисус речене десят и ли очиста очистишася, да девят где, как у не обретушася, возвращася дати славу Богу, токмо иноплеменник си, и рече ему востав иди, вера твоя спаси. Son and in the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> this morning we have the feast day of St. Ambrose, the Bishop of Milan. And it seems that if you haven't had a chance to read his life, it's just one of those lives that is quite remarkable in the sense of here is a man who had such piety, such fervor of spirit, such inner quality that he was continuously seeking God, but he also was such a man of action, such a man who wasn't afraid to stand before even the emperor at one point, the emperor had crushed a rebellion in Thessaloniki and killed, quite harshly, 7,000 people. And the, 
Bishop of Milan quite rightly and justly told him as he came into the church, depart, you have not even begun to deal and repent. Can you imagine this? The emperor of the land who could have snapped his fingers and cut his head off. And he had such boldness to even tell him to depart from the church until he had repented for his harshness, but giving him also a path to salvation. So if you get a chance, I recommend you read some of his life. It's quite remarkable to see a man of such faith and such action. And one of the quotes that, to me, I think stands out from his life is he says this. He says, none of us heal ourselves by wounding another. None of us heal ourselves by wounding another. I think this, in such a short sentence, says so much. We should probably put this on the very cover of marital counseling. And any time we deal with relationships, how often have we made the mistake of wounding someone, trying to get them to do something because we think that will change something for the best for ourselves, but we, we misunderstand the way that it works. We don't heal ourselves by wounding another. <clears throat> such, to me, such wise words, but there's so many quotes we could say <coughs> from him. This morning, I want to talk from both the Gospel and the Epistle. I want to bring out something that I think is so important for our spiritual lives, for the quality of how we maintain a spiritual life, how we understand and look after the momentum that happens inside us towards God that's so easily corrupted and distracted. But one of the things that's so clear and so needful for us to be reminded of is, is the message of thankfulness, of remembrance of the things that God has done in our lives. There is something that happens to us if we will take this simple step, especially when we are finding ourselves in a place where we are surrounded by discouragement, surrounded by our own apathy, our own laziness, our own kind of stuck in a spot where we are unable to move, that if we will understand something that happens when a person turns <clears throat> to God and begins to recognize, Lord, let me see, let me remember all the times in my life that you have done something in your goodness, in your love, in your compassion for the benefit of my salvation. If we can look back at times when we were going to surely cause ourselves to fall into some sort of disrepair, sin, some carnal action, and God somehow saves us. If we can look at all the times when we were surely protected from a situation, if we would have just been there five minutes earlier, we would have hit some crisis, some conflict that would have been so difficult for us to deal with, but surely God caused us to be delayed. But if we understand one thing about the spiritual life, that when we begin to understand, remember that God has been so good for us, that he has so directed our lives and our salvation to his purpose, in that remembrance, something happens to us. In our remembrance, and being continuously in our minds about God's goodness, this begins to redirect all the things in our spiritual lives. This is something that is almost a secret. If you find yourself completely surrounded by all sorts of things, despair, discouragement, if you can turn and remember God's goodness, it says it this way in the apostle, in the epistle, the apostle. It says it, St. Paul, that we, giving thanks to God, who has called us out of darkness into his glorious inheritance of the saints in the light, we are being clearly told to give thanks to God, that we are being really reminded because it's so common for us to forget the goodness of God, to forget all his benefits, to forget 
all the things that God has done. But when we do this, it brings spiritual action and fruit into our lives. It begins to protect us. It begins to do what the psalmist says. It puts a hedge of protection around us. How can a young man then keep his way pure but taking thy word and making a hedge about us? This is something that we do that allows our hearts to not become so crowded, so scattered, so unable to understand God's benefits. So hear the gospel this morning, but hear it even in a deeper way, that Christ, the healer, the only one who can heal leprosy, he heals each and every one of us, not from physical leprosy anymore, but from the leprosy of sin. Leprosy, something that causes things to shrivel up and die, to be no longer able to bear, to multiply, to be fruitful. It's something that is like sin. This is what Christ does for each and every one of us, is that he comes and he heals the leprosy of our sin. He changes us. He takes what's dead and is going to shrivel and cause certain death to the point where it won't even function anymore, and he causes it to be healed in a moment when we encounter him. But we also now are being reminded, let us return to the Lord and say, thank you. Let us remind ourselves what God has done. Let us not become so fast-paced, so furious, distracted, that we don't remember all the good that God has done for us this, in our lives. And when we do this, it causes other spiritual fruits Actually, it causes our lives to begin to rightly function again. <clears throat> the next thing that I think it's important for us to understand that when God comes and heals us and we say thanks, He's also not just saving us from sin, but He's also equipping us with spiritual gifts and help so that we don't remain stuck in sin. In 2 Corinthians, another epistle of the Apostle Paul, the 10th chapter, he says it this way. He says that though we walk in the flesh, our warfare is not in the flesh. It's not the weapons of our warfare, he says, are not carnal, but they're spiritual and they're mighty through God for the pulling down of strongholds for the casting down of imaginations in every thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, and for the bringing into captivity every thought into the obedience of Christ. This is certainly packed up with many things, but let us break it down a little bit. We hear this. What does he mean? That though we walk in the flesh, our weapons are not of the flesh. They're not carnal. They're not things that wound our bodies. But they're given to us something that is mighty in God through the pulling down of strongholds. It's not saying that we become like the Incredible Hulk. He's not talking about castles and buildings. But he's talking about spiritual things. Things that happen in our heart that are built that keep us from being able to rightly converse and receive healing from Christ. Leprosy was certainly a stronghold of these times, something that kept and destroyed lives and no one would not be immune, destroyed complete families. That is for the pulling down of strongholds, for the casting down of imaginations. Another translator says here, self-esteem. It's for every thought that exalted itself against the knowledge of God, that these are the weapons of our warfare, even to the point where Christ becomes for us a way to understand that our thoughts must become an obedience to Christ. This, I can tell you what most people struggle with is so much of the time is that their thoughts are unsubmitted to anything. They're so rampant and they're running at the course of whatever they interact with, whatever that comes through them, whatever they're watching on TV, whatever they're reading. But at times we must remember that God has handed us a spiritual life, spiritual weapons, spiritual 
as we even say, warfare that teaches us that we must bring our thoughts into captivity to the obedience of Christ. That this is also the way that we show our thanks for that healing that Christ does of our leprous conditions. This is what we are being reminded of this morning. That we are thankful and that we also begin to not just be thankful in that one moment, but that we embrace the path of salvation. That we embrace all the things that God has given us so that we not just understand that we've been saved from something, but we've been saved towards something, which is Christ. This is something that we must remember. This is a sign of a spiritual life that is healthy and begins to give right veneration and honor back to Christ. Amen. Let us say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say. O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray in thee, hearken and have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray in thee, hearken and have mercy. Again we pray for our Lord and Father, His Holiness, Patriarch Kirill, for our Lord, the very most reverend, Metropolitan Ilarion, first hierarch of the Russian Church abroad, for our Lord, the most reverend Archbishop Kirill, and for all our brethren in Christ. Again, we pray for this land, its authorities, and armed forces. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the God preserved Russian land and its Orthodox people, both in the homeland and the diaspora, for the suffering Orthodox people in Ukraine, Serbia, Georgia, Syria, Lebanon, Egypt, Greece, Montenegro, Kosovo, Belarus and in Jordan, and for their salvation. And we pray to the Lord our God that he may deliver his people from enemies, both visible and invisible, and confirm in us oneness of mind, brotherly love and piety. Again, we pray for the blessed and the memorable holy orthodox patriarchs, for pious kings and right believing queens, and for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy church, and for the newly reposed patriarch Irene of Serbia, and for all our fathers and brethren, the orthodox departed this life before us, who here and in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation for the servants of God. Yanni and Dina, Ivan, Natalia, Cleopatra, Tatiana, Tatiana, Vladimir, Maria, Maria, Nikolai, Rakli, Isabella. And for the brethren of this holy temple and for the pardon and remission of their sins. O physician of souls and bodies with compunction and broken hearts, we fall down before thee, heal the sickness, heal the passions of the souls and bodies of thy servants. The ailing patriarch Ilya of Georgia, patriarch Irenaeus of 
Jerusalem, Metropolitan Onufri, Metropolitan Hilarion, Archbishop Kirill, Bishop Irineo, Bishop James, Proto Presbyter Alexander, Proto Presbyter Demetrius, Proto Presbyter Blasco, Mighty Archpriest Victor, Mighty Archpriest John, Archpriest Vladimir, Archpriest George, Archpriest Seraphim, Archpriest Moses, Priest Jonah, Priest Alexander, Priest Yosa, Priest Spirit Don, Priest Nikolai, Deacon Dimitri, Reader Gregory, Reader Matthew, Reader Peter, Schema Monk Nikon, Igor, Ivan, Peter, Michael, James, Sergei, David, Matthew, Lawrence, John, Michael, Olga, Anthony, Boris, Jericho, and Constantine. And for the handmaidens of God, Abbas Markel, Abbas Moise, Abbas Michaela, Matushka, Emilia, Presbytera, Lefteria, Papadia Vesna, Matushka, Natalie, Matushka, Rania, Matushka, Catherine, Matushka, Svetlana, Matushka, Tatiana, <coughs> Bosilka, Evgenia, Colette, Pereslava, Alice Marie, Deborah, Maria, Maria, Ludmila, Elizabeth, Isabella, Carmen, Marina, Vavra, Alexandra, Irina, Helen, Olga, Olga, Nadezhda, Vira, Natalia, Natalia, Maria, 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 Lena, Lyubov, Cleopatra, Marianne, Rosemary, Gabriella, Ruth, Bosanka, and Svetlana, and John. And in thy loving kindness, pardon all their sins, whether voluntary or involuntary, quickly raising them up from the bed of sickness, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Again, we pray for the suffering Orthodox people of Serbia, for the salvation and preservation of its holy places, for the homes and lives of our brethren in the region of Kosovo and Montenegro and in all parts of their homelands. That, we, that thou mightest look down with a merciful eye upon the people of Ukraine and make her unconquerable by those who would work strife, we pray thee, O kind-hearted Lord, hearken and have mercy. Again, we pray that he might look down upon his holy Orthodox Church with kind-heartedness and mercy and preserve her from divisions and schism, from enmity and strife, that her unity might be neither diminished nor shaken, but that in her thy thrice holy name might be glorified. Let us all see, O Lord, graciously hearken and have mercy. And we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for them that minister and them that chant, and for all the people here present, who wait of thee great and abundant mercy. Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Pray, you catechumens, to the Lord. Amen. Let us, the faithful, pray for the catechumens that the Lord will have mercy on them that he might teach them the word of truth, that he might reveal to them the gospel of righteousness, that he may unite them to his holy Catholic and apostolic church. Save them, have mercy on them, help them and keep them, O God, by thy grace. Bow your heads unto the Lord, you catechumen. That they also with us may glorify the most honorable of the majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. All 
that a catechumens depart, catechumens depart, all that a catechumens depart. Let no catechumen remain, let us the faithful again and again in peace. Pray unto the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Wisdom. For unto thee are due all glory, <coughs> honor, and worship, to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy church, and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. That he may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Wisdom. God, O Eid, being God, and under thy dominion, that we may stand up glory unto thee. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit both now and ever, and unto the ages of
Our oh, great Lord and Father is Holiness Kirill, Patriarch of Moscow and all Russia. For oh, our Lord, the very most reverend Ilarion, Metropolitan of Eastern America, New York, First Hierarch of the Russian Church Abroad. For oh, our Lord, the most reverend Kirill, Archbishop of San Francisco in Western America. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Let us complete our prayer unto the Lord. With the precious gifts now offered, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Pardon the remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. All things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, in the good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another, and all our life unto Christ our God. Through the compassions of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy and good and life bearing Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of the ages. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess.
doors, the doors in wisdom let us attend. Let us stand awry, let us stand with fear, let us attend that we may offer the holy oblation in peace.
blessed name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Помянуще, паки, паки, миром Господу помолимся. О, принесенный и усвященный, честный дарье Господу помолимся. Я когда человек любит Бог наш, прием его святые, перенесенные мысли свой жертвенник в огне благоханья духовного вознес послед нам божественную благодать и дар Святого Духа помолимся. Господи, помилуй. О, избавитесь нам от свеки скорби, гнева и нужды, Господу помолимся. Господи, помилуй. Заступи, спаси, помилуй, сохрани нас, Боже, Твоею благодатью. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Having asked for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. Отче наш, и живи на небесе, да светится имя Твое, да придет царствие Твое, да будет Твое Твое, я тут на небесе, и на земле. Хлеб наш насущный дождь на мес, и остави на дуги наши, your heads unto the Lord. Through the grace and compassions and love for 
upon the height of thy glory, for I have angered thy goodness by transgressing thy commandments, and not obeying thine injunctions, which thou, Lord, who art not vengeful, but long suffering and plenteous in mercy, hast not given me over to be destroyed of my sins, but always thou waitest my complete conversion. For thou hast said, O lover of mankind, to thy prophet, for I desire not the death of the sinner, but that he should return and live. For thou desirest not, O master, to destroy the work of thy hand, neither shalt thou be pleased with the destruction of men, but desirest that all be saved and come to a knowledge of the truth. Wherefore, even I, although unworthy of heaven and earth, and of this temporal life, having submitted my whole self to sin, and being made myself a slave of pleasure, and having to face thine image, yet being thy work in creation, wretched though I be, I despair not of my salvation, and dare to approach thine immeasurable loving kindness, except and even me, O Lord, lover of mankind, as thou didst accept the sinful woman, the thief, the public, and the prodigal, take away the heavy burden of my many sins, as thou that takest away the sins of the world, and healest the infirmities of mankind, who callest the weary and heavy laden unto thyself, and givest them rest, who camest not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance, and do thou cleanse me. Amen. With the fear of God and faith draw near. I believe, O Lord, and I confess that thou art truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who has come to the world to save sinners, of whom I am chief. I believe this is only thine own most pure body, which is thine own most precious blood. Therefore I pray thee, have mercy upon me and forgive me my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, whether in word or deed, in knowledge or in ignorance, and vouchsafe me to partake without condemnation of thy most true mystery, of the remission of sins and life everlasting. Amen. Of thy mystical supper, O Son of God, and Jesus, the day of the communion, for all thy secrets, of thy mysteries to thy enemies, though I give thee a kiss to Jesus, the life of peace, will I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. Let not the communion of thy holy mystery be unto me, but let the condemnation, O Lord, be the healing of soul and body.
having partaken of the holy, divine, immortal, and life-giving and awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Asking that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commit ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ our God. sanctification and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. In peace let us Let us pray to the Lord. Lord bless them that bless thee and sanctify them that put their trust in thee. Save thy people, bless thine inheritance, preserve the fullness of thy church and sanctify them that love the beauty of thy house. Do thou glorify them by the divine power and forsake us not that hope in thee. Give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to thy priests, to all thy people. For every good gift and every perfect gift cometh down from thee, the Father of lights. And unto thee do we send up glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever. And on to the ages of ages. but the choir today pulled out uh, a special melody that was actually written by uh, St. Ambrose of Milan during the time when the clergy were communing. I think it's a hymn that he wrote and the melodies are, I don't know who's the melody, but it's, uh, thank God that they are doing things like this to help enhance and beautify the worship of us all. So thank you much, choir. Thank you for doing that. I know that it's been a lot, and uh, it was a very beautiful hymn. Thank you. I think this week we have, um, when's the service? Thursday night, 6.15, we have Great Vespers and Alitia on uh, Western Christmas Eve. We have the service for St. Spiridon of Trumithia and St. Hermit of Alaska on Christmas morning at 
Nine o'clock. I didn't look at the calendar close enough. Nine o'clock in the morning. So come and celebrate the the feast of these two great saints. And anything else? So two weeks ago we attended uh last week I was uh here at the end of liturgy, so I'll say it again now for the first time. Um, we have pledge cards in the back uh, at the candle uh, in the, at the bookstore. If you haven't filled out a pledge card, even if you filled out one last year, um, and even if your pledge has not changed, please fill out another one because uh, as you, with this beautiful new church that we have, obviously our, our needs have changed as well. Okay, so thank you. Thank you. Any other announcements? If we could get a couple of guys and girls who um, are able-bodied, if we could uh, maybe after the liturgy kind of straighten up the annex and the terpeza. I think the co-op is meeting tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken. Is it tomorrow? Uh, so if we can clean it up for the kids a little bit so they can make a mess in there. Uh, uh, we'd be greatly appreciative, and I'm sure the, the school would, would also appreciate it. Um, thank you. The homeschooling co-op is starting officially tomorrow, I guess, yes. Assuming everything goes to plan. Okay, wonderful. Um, a prosperous and peaceful life, good health, success in all things. Grant, O Lord, unto thy servants Ambrose and Nicholas and Nicholas, and preserve them for many years.
subject of me a sinner, but hast bounced me to be a communicant of thy holy things. I thank thee that thou hast bounced me the unworthy to partake of thy most pure and heavenly gifts. But, O Master, O lover of mankind, who for our sake didst die and didst rise again, and didst bestow upon us these dread and life-giving mysteries for the well-being and sanctification of our souls and bodies, grant that these may be even unto me for the healing of both soul and body, for the averting of everything hostile, for the enlightenment of the eyes of my heart, for the peace of the powers of my soul, for faith unashamed, for love unfeigned, for the fullness of wisdom, for the keeping of thy commandments, for an increase of thy divine grace, and for the attainment of thy kingdom, that being preserved by them in thy holiness, I may remember thy grace always, and no longer live for myself, but for thee, our master and benefactor, and thus, when I shall depart of this life in hope of life eternal, I may attain unto everlasting rest, where the sound of them that keep festival is unceasing, and the delight is endless of them that behold the ineffable beauty of thy countenance. For thou art the true desire and the unutterable gladness of them that love thee, O Christ our God, and all creation of him, the end of the ages. Amen. O Master Christ God, King of the ages and creator of all things, I thank thee for all the good things which thou hast bestowed upon me and for the communion of thy most pure and light creating mysteries. I pray thee therefore, O good one and lover of mankind, keep me under thy protection and in the shadow of thy wings and grant me even until my last breath to partake worthily with a pure conscience of thy holy things into the remission of sins and life eternal. For thou art the bread of life, the source of holiness, the giver of good things, and unto thee do we send our glory, together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> o thou who givest me willingly thy flesh as food, thou who art fire that does consume me unworthy, burn me not, O my Creator, but rather enter thou into my members and into all my joints, my reins, my heart. Burn up the thorns of all my sins, purify my soul, sanctify my thoughts, strengthen my substance together with my bones, enlighten my simple senses, kneel down the whole of me with thy, the fear of thee, ever protect, preserve, and keep me from every soul corrupting deed and word. Purify, cleanse, and adorn me, make me comely, give me understanding, and enlighten me. Show me to be the dwelling place of thy spirit alone, and no longer the habitation of sin, that, <clears throat> that for me is thine abode through the entry a communion, every evildoer, every passion may flee as from fire, as intercessors I offer unto thee all the saints, the commanders of the bodiless host, thy forerunner, the wise apostles, and further thine undefiled and pure mother, whose entreaties do thou accept O my compassionate Christ, and make thy servant a child of light, for thou alone art our sanctification, O good one, and the radiance of our souls unto thee is God and Master. We all send a glory as is meet every day. O oh Lord Jesus Christ, our God, may thy holy body be unto me for life eternal and thy precious blood for the remission of sins. And may this Eucharist be unto me for joy, health, and gladness. And at thy dread second coming, vouchsafe me a sinner to stand at thy right hand of thy glory through the intercession of thy most pure mother and of all the saints. <coughs> o most holy lady, Theotokos, light of my darkened soul, my hope, protection, refuge, consolation, my joy. <coughs> I thank thee that thou hast vouchsafed me, O men, worthy to be a partaker of thy most pure body and precious blood of thy Son. O thou who gavest birth to the true light, do thou enlighten the spiritual eyes of my heart. Thou who gavest birth to the source of immortality, and revive me while I am dead in sin. Thou who art the lovingly compassionate mother of the merciful God, have mercy of me and grant me compunction and contrition in my heart, and humility in my thoughts, and the recall of my thoughts from captivity. <coughs> And thou shalt be until my last breath to receive without condemnation the sanctification of the most pure mysteries for the healing of both soul and body. And grant me tears of repentance and confession that I may him and glorify thee all the days of my life. For blessed and most glorious art thou unto the ages. Amen. <clears throat> now let us thou, thy servant, depart in peace, O Master, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation which thou hast prepared before the face of all peoples a light of revelation for the Gentiles and the glory of thy people, Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, blot out our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. 
Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. <coughs> shining forth from thy mouth like a beacon hath illumined the universe and disclosed to the world treasures of uncovetousness and shown us lights of humility but while instructing by thy words O father john chris awesome intercede with the word christ our god to save our souls glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit from the heavens as thou receive divine grace and by thy lips thou dost teach all to worship the one god in trinity O john chris awesome O oh, blessed righteous one, rightly do we acclaim thee, for thou art a teacher revealing things divine, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O oh, protection of Christians that cannot be put to shame, O oh, mediation unto the creator and failing, disdain not the supply of voices of sinners, but be thou quick, O oh, good one, to help us who in faith cry unto thee. Hasten to intercession.